Yo, what's up, guys? Uh, my name is Nick. Yo, it's John. And we're here doing the week seven recap. So, first of all, we're gonna skip the first matchup we have over here. Where are we going? Where are we going? Um, because that was the only interesting matchup this week. So we're gonna start with bread getters against box traps. Bread box. All right. What do you think of this matchup, Sean? This is. You read, all right, all right. Read the numbers to me. Read all the right. Numbers. So pretty much, we no, no, have. No, Read, read the totals. Read the totals. I just oh. want to <laughs> see this. One. Read the totals. Five twenty. Yep. Versus two eighty six, and that two eighty six is from a playoff team. That's disgusting. Yep. 586 to 280 or 5 520 to 286. Yeah. That's a stomp. That's not a not a fun matchup. Did they log in? Um I mean, look at this. Basically, you have Killzone pull, putting in um an okay week at the top. Below him, looking at the breakdown. AJ yeah. barely on a 50. Then we got Levine. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. AJ is second. AJ is second. <laughs> That's <laughs> I didn't even realize that. <laughs> so AJ's second. That says enough about their team. Levine had to step in. Disappointed. Obviously they weren't trying this week, but you know, I think the box traps even more so than us just so gave up when they didn't have to win. Well, this in. is why they got like a negative four hundred hour differential. Yep. Um, maybe a couple positives about the bread getters. Bjorn kept his month up. Jenna did the cooking week record, like the legit one. What do you mean legit? Um, he beat Drary's week. Yeah, but that's you know who has the cooking week. One night out. Yeah, doesn't he? Yeah, I'm not counting that. That's not legit. All right. Yeah. He sent me a New Year's message. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! He sent you one too. <laughs> all right. Hell. All right. He. Jenna, Jenna did a fat cooking cooking week. Yeah, um, I think Jenna was... Harmony and Jenna were both on the same team for the Omnia week comp as well, so they both went hard for that. And What's Steskalol and Below just looks like they're just chilling pretty much, you know? Steskalol doesn't give a shit. All right, what's Diggler doing? Pretty Diggler doesn't week. give a shit either. Diggler, yeah. Not He's pushing chilling. himself, He's but... He's legit chilling. He's logging in, though. He logged in. Kinda. Book <laughs> didn't log in. <laughs> he logged in, man. Come on. All right. Who did? Who um, logged in? Gook? Wait, what? Gook logged in? Uh, I don't think Gook logged in. Diggle it definitely did. I think he, I think he just knew they were going to win. Yeah, pretty much. So it's with an okay week. Half the people in the box have flopping. Do you have anything uh you want to add to this match before we move on? Let me open the box traps again so I can just see how bad they were. <laughs> I mean... Man, if there's one thing I can say about the box traps, when they lose, they they know how to lose. Yep. They they get blown out. Like I mean, they had the worst score this week, and that includes the Devils. Damn. Actually, wait, the Devils did better than the fucking Obesity boys. Obesity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they actually did. No joke. Can't expect the team of fatties to have stamina. Oh, pretty much. They didn't go. They, they. You, you think they have energy in week seven? Hmm. No, I think they're out of it by then. How much do they play? They play less. Oh no, they played, but they lost. Yeah. You want to move on to that matchup? Yeah, yeah. Th this matchup sucks, bro. So first of all, all the matchups are gonna be pretty uninteresting. So just a word of warning. But um, next matchup, we have a pretty bizarre matchup. In that the Icings were a one in sixteen, pretty much considered the worst team in the league at one point, and they hundred pointed the Obesity Boys. Doesn't that mean that Icings were fifth place? I mean, they were tied with OBB, or, and they had to head no, no, head. No, uh, sixth place, right? They're sixth place. Uh, yes, correct, because the Guardians were fifth. That's crazy, man. So they were tied with you know, OBB, and then they had the head to head. You know, people, people, um. People put the eye scenes down, but they ended on a pretty strong. Yeah, they did well at the end. I mean, run. They just had no. I don't know. Like, obviously, blind carried a lot of that. Also in the Omnia comp, by the way, winning team, by the way. 
So. Oh, yeah. is that why blind was going so hard? Blind popped off, did number two fire making week. Alex did his normal week, so nothing wrong there. Kelfan normal week. But below Kelfan, man, we have Stealth Wolf not popping off anymore. Mr. B Stan going out literally every night. Fucking burnout. <laughs> I guess Onyx didn't try once he knew they were going to lose. And, I don't know. Yeah, with L2, I guess. You know, I thought Stealth Wolf was like going to be a big free agent pick. Mm -hmm. But it didn't pan out. No, it did not. I think the week he said he was going to do 100, he did like a 70 or an 80 or something. The one they lost against, um, what's it called? Well, uh, like, where's it, where's it, where's it, where's it, where's it, where's it? OBB Jostlers? Was that the close week? No, OBB Bread. Yeah, that was the really here it close is. one. Yeah, self over right here, 86. He promised yeah. on 100, so. That was, that was the matchup for, that. that's point. like the big matchup that you need to win. OBB, yeah, 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 against Brad, for sure. So that was pretty disappointing. But, but the thing is, like, eh, I, I don't know about hyping him up too much, but he was, like, thought of as the best free agent pick before the... Who, Stealth Wolf? Yeah, yeah, Stealth Wolf. Yeah, he was a pretty good like, pickup. I was, he, I was surprised there. I didn't know he actually cared about fantasy. Like, I got some intel, and people were like, yo, pick up Stealth Wolf. <laughs> I mean... LBB snatched him up. He would have tried a little harder if he was on another team. Yeah. Other but than Ampis coming in with a bigger week than usual, Aerob being back to form, back to 80s. Everything else on the team is pretty standard, to be honest. Nothing too special. A lot of these people Kelefan that popped off. Week, huh? The Kelefan week is like higher than usual. Uh, isn't it? I don't think it's pretty normal, man. Is Kelefan always an 85? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's pretty good player. then. Um. I don't know, a lot of these standout players just played a lot for the comp, pretty much. And you'll see that when we talk about the next competition, which was Jossers versus Seagulls. Let me open that one up, yep. Um, Jossel Seagull. Yeah, you know, Surge with the 142.5 oh. pretty much only did that because of the comp, even though we lost by like 150 hours got, or whatever. He has got pooped on. Yeah, wait, what? No, we didn't. That was pretty close. 496.70? <laughs> <laughs> yeah we did I mean you can see D-Gen Miner with the nothing at the bottom dude you guys could have lost by 200 yeah probably I see the I breakdown mean, what'd your team do a lot the man. only person on this team I give the pass is D-Gen Miner oh yeah and Surge he did okay good enough that Surge guy did a 140 yeah, yeah. not bad Wait, better than see, anyone on their team the so what? No. Why is his one okay? He did like a one forty two plus, but uh -huh. like he lost his his he double lost. He lost the week and then he lost the comp as well. Oh, no, but it's like it's half. It's not half. Yeah, it's half herb or half craft. But it's like why is it half herb and craft? He finished herb boy. Conserve it. You know he finished it <laughs> during the week. A nerd got two hundred mil herb. Yeah, he got two hundred mil. That's what I mean. Well, pretty lol. Guess that, guess that forgives him, Vinny. Um, what else? Blake with a what? disappointing week. Honestly, he said he was gonna pop off. I think his goal was like a 130, 140. So unlucky. Fully did a one hundred eight, even though Kerry said he would never do above a ninety. But you know, it's okay. He did well. I don't know about that trade, man. Eh, you know. That trade smells a little fishy. Yeah, it's a little spooky. You know, Borsi doing his 75. Nothing wrong with that, but pretty much the max he'll ever do. Hmm. Maybe Pulley's just going to go and party. Yep. Pretty sure during all the Icing's wins, it would have won anyways with Pulley. But yeah, anyways, that doesn't matter. Um, Karma with an okay week, you know. Nothing much to talk about here. Just a bunch of noobs and burnouts. And people who popped off. Dude, why'd these guys play so much? I don't know, man. Like, why is... Oh, why I is, can like, tell you why. Every like... single one of them was in the comp. Oh, were they? Yeah, except for <laughs> Karma, I think. Because I'm like, why is, why is Anger okay. playing a 105 in a blowout? Because it's like... um, Cooper was on a team. Blake was on the winning team. Boogeyman was on the winning team with Blake and Blind. Pulley was with Jenna and Harmony. 
Anger was with Wasby and Kirsten, I think. And then, so yeah, all yeah. of them were playing for the Omni Comp. Ah, uh, you know what? All on one team. Yeah, yeah. It's actually crazy because the Jostlers have, like, almost all the people from the top two teams. Yeah, exactly. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, that's why, you know, none of our players, except for Wasby, really competed. And yeah, that's pretty much why we got spanked. You know, I had my final. It was difficult. Is it okay? Uh, I don't know. Hopefully. Good enough, I think. Where's Where's your th your uh, three-man team? Um, what did they do? We got 11. Our I think we got like 8th. We all did a 60. Oh my god. <laughs> Anyways, right. moving on. Are you back at the the, the matchup details? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got a big one coming up here. Shout out Joe Swifts. Shout out Joe Swifts, exactly. But did, did he not start? Yeah, he didn't. Thanks, buddy, for not starting when it mattered most. Anyways, <laughs> um, I don't know. What do you think about this week? I mean, it's your, well, let your me team, open right? Devils. Let me open Devils. Are we looking at Devils first? Wait, don't you have both of them open at the same time? I'm not that good, man. What are you looking at? Go to the matchup details. All right. Um. So, <laughs> so we got XG, <laughs> XG Yuri. X Gary, uh, you know, the Promise Girl. No, no. From you know the girl who had the voice crack during Produce Forty Eight, during yeah, um, yeah, yeah, Peekaboo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine, 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 fine. Yeah, yeah she's one. disgusting. Yeah. Oh, come right. on, man. <laughs> well, anyways. Well, no, no, I'm talking about this. the week, man. Oh, okay. Good, good, good. All right, let's break down the 27. So we have to analyze the numbers. Um, so what's the melee cap? 25. This How much man, do you have? This man nearly done hit the melee cap. Well, 16. Oh, I assume if 16 out of 27 was melees. 16 of 27 is melees, more than half. Ah, <sighs> he didn't log in. Only you... two hours of mining, a little, little bit of swimming it looks like. Do you have anything to say about your underperformance? Let me see. Let me see. Let me click Gertie. All right. Where did I do? 99.07. That's not bad. What about Honestly, the bottom? Honestly, though, I think I carried, man. Yeah, pretty think? much. You and Tom. I think MVP still goes to Cap King. <laughs> For the 83 Agi week? No, no, no. <laughs> because... Cap King came came in the clutch because it was really close and and the devils weren't sleeping. And he he popped off. And we were losing. I think we were losing with just a few hours left. Oh my. And it, it came down to the last couple of hours and we just didn't know who had unlogged. And Cap King did. And um it was I think there was like a point five hour difference. But then Cap King logged out and dropped the nuke. Oh, let's dropped... go! Cap Coming King... in. Dude, Get I'm not kidding, man. Play of the century. Cap King logged out at the last minute, dropped the nuke. It was like a four and a half EHP yeah. log of, of Agi or something. <clears throat> That's fucking beast. Sent them away. Yeah. But honestly... Where's the... Go Maddy? Yeah, where the... Where the fuck is Go Maddy? What's going on there? All right, what that pretty much do? covers the Guardians. Now we can talk a bit more about the other Devils. Um, specifically, did you hear anything about sleep or, or no? Yeah. Well, I heard, I heard there was a lot of cutting of sleep. No, I'm, I mean, I heard the opposite, man. Really? Yeah, you want to hear the story of what happened to the top two players on the team? Yeah, what happened? Pretty much. In the last three days or so, Kaza slept like 14 hours, so quite a bit. There was like, what, like five hours left in the comp? He fell asleep on his keyboard, slept through the whole thing. Fell asleep at his keyboard. Jenny Death slept for the last five hours of the comp. Ouch. If you want to add those hours up, they would have won. So yeah, pretty big throw from the boys. Um... Zine played no came out. Dylan could have, I think Dylan could have played a couple hours more maybe, but it's okay. All of car accident party was burnt. That's crazy, man. What do you think about the particularly low salty a week? 
Any any I'm one just, of these players could have stepped up. Whereas not I'm just really like, for the Guardians. I'm kind of disappointed, man. Like, yeah. Is it? Isn't he? Okay. Was he their first round pick? Saltia? No, I think it was pretty. Oh, okay. Let's check. Uh, no, thirtieth pick. Who was the Devils' first rounder? Uh, bu 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 chicken butt. Um, Axel Fist. <laughs> but where is he? He's flatlined right now. <laughs> you kidding? He's me? been flatlined for like starting. two weeks. Yeah, he's gone. He's the first rounder. Yeah, he's gone. Axel's gone. Everyone quit, man. Half their team fucking quit. Axel Fist is flatlined. You're telling me? Yup. Yeah, permanently. That's well, not so permanently. disappointing. Yeah. I don't know if he'll come back or not, but hopefully... That just comes down to bad management. Yeah, yeah. Or definitely their whole team. I mean, yeah. Um, What do the standings look like? Yeah, this is pretty much the standings. Oh, wait. These aren't updated. Bruh. They don't update the standings, bro. Um, We look at them here. Let's see this. I'm going to pull, pull some stuff up. Oh, beautiful. So these are the standings, pretty much. Um, Devils finished 06 because of that. Wait, did 07? they finish? 07? Oh, my God. Nobody updated the standings. Yeah, they didn't update the standings. Fucking, bro. I'm done, dude. Whatever, fuck this game. Um, But yeah, basically, Devils finished 07. Icing's 2-7. and seven, And the Guardians... Stuck in... 4-3. and three. Stuck and in 5th place. Yeah, 4-3, and three, not bad. Because of this week. Would have been embarrassing if you guys lost, though. No, no, no. Different we don't story. go 3-4. and four. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, man. Yeah, another winless team. Um, Four and three is a very respectable ending to a season. Yeah, it's not bad. Barely missed playoffs. Not a terrible team. I, I will say, though, you guys are four and three. The next best team is two and seven, so that's a huge drop off. What? Oh, two and five, yeah. Yeah, or two and five, fuck. Yeah, yeah. Pretty huge. Yeah, I mean, I guess everyone just kind of got free win i don't want to say free wins but there's always just that kind of free win team at the bottom yeah exactly we had a couple this year <laughs> like three but yeah, yeah. I, mean, I mean obc boys i will say obc boys worked hard but they got kind of unlucky yeah, a lot for... like they have the players clearly they just i don't know they just came up just short a couple times for a team that worked yeah, for a team that worked the hardest for the least result, I would say o Obesity oh, yeah. Boys. Like, if you compare Obesity Boys and Icings, even though they just lost to them, Obesity Boys are definitely a way better team <laughs> yeah, most weeks. It actually feels like the Icings didn't give a shit, but yeah. they ended up higher in the standings. Exactly. OBB had some very close weeks. Yeah. You have anything else to add to any of the weeks? What do you end at? 5 and 2? Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. All right, let's take a. Very quick look at the individuals, uh, even though we talked about most of this. Yeah, let um, me check out individuals. Yeah, get that pulled up. Yeah, I got it. All right, what do you... I mean, we talked about it pretty much already. Search with the biggest week by far. Cooper did the... I kind of We kind of forgot. Cooper did the Herbler week as well, so that's pretty cool. You know how much that oh, is? Oh, he did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I totally forgot, but... Cooper did the Herb week. Pretty Let me BM if we didn't see, talk about that. Yeah, see the here breakdown. It is. 61. Yeah, 61.3 mil herb. Not bad. Um, Dior, another mining week. Blind, rank two fire making week. I think like everyone above 100 was probably in that three man comp. Yeah. Here's the. Um, I got Wasby's stats pulled up right now. You can see the 15 mil crafting. Only 1.3 hours of strength. That's good. I like it's when the. Uh... The melees are low. Yeah, his mom definitely brought him a lot of food to his room. Um, but yeah, pretty much. I don't think there's anything else too special here. Tom did definitely just did a normal week. Slayer, fletching, range, <laughs> nothing out of the ordinary. Jenny did his Wait. first hunter week of the month. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty. You know, you know, you guys always say excludes trolling, but. He did a 76. Yeah, he did well this week, yeah. I don't know. Oh my god, he hit the melee cap. Did he actually with 76? <laughs> uh, I mean, he did He did well throughout the season, so... Uh, Wait, him. wouldn't he always hit the melee cap? Yeah, he always does. He loves it, man. 23.67. <gasps> it's your 8 point... <laughs> Get out of Nightmare Zone. Zero point eight six. he actually hit it. Oh my god. Don't, his, don't abuse His highest EHP zone. was... 
Agility with 23.7, and his second highest was Strength with 23.67. Come on, man. Close. Get out of Nightmare Zone. Yeah. This That's is pretty a much it. Public service announcement. Um, so, yeah, all the big leaks are pretty much from the comp. Do you have anything else to add about the week at all? I'm just trying to see season? someone that... Uh... <clears throat> maybe maybe some unexpected big weeks, but I'm not seeing anything out of the ordinary. Oh, really? I mean, Pulley 108 is nothing crazy for him. Jenna's known to be big. Campus, yeah, Campus did really it. well last season. Yeah. So nothing crazy here, honestly, at all. What about I'm some crazy to, low weeks? No, I'm going go to the bottom. I'm going to show all. Just box go traps Maddie. players. <laughs> go Maddie. It's just happens. box traps players at the bottom. Oh my god, it is. Yeah, it's the whole fucking team. Holy crap. Embarrassing. Go Matty could have at least logged into the game. I think he went on vacation for like five out of the... Did he actually? I think so. Did he, not, he didn't say anything about it? I don't know. Someone told me he went on a trip. We won without him. Oh, did he? Let's look at his graph. <laughs> we pretty much won six versus seven. Oh yeah, no, 100% you did. Well... No, you won five versus what is it called? Five versus six. Five versus six. Yeah, that's what I would say. <laughs> wait, wait. So you don't count XG, Yuri. Yeah, as no a Yuri. Yeah, let's. I oh, wait, wait. Oh yeah, yeah. You're right. Big flat line. All right, let's go back to the matchups. Yeah, one count. Higer, Maddie, Salty, or er, fuck. Higer, Maddie, and Gary were like it's just the battle of the bad. Thirty app under everyone else. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Who has the least? I mean, you guys had the most burnouts on your team, but you still won because your players were better <laughs> at the top. We need some skillers. Yeah. I don't know. Anyways, anything else? Um. Any closing remarks? Yeah, who's low? Low week overall? What the hell happened to Bailey? He's on a 64. <laughs> uh, let's check his week. I don't know. I don't think it's anything too crazy. It's just not playing. Let's see. Oh, it's Big Pie. Oh, he man. has Big Pie on the week. Big Pie on week seven. Good lord. I'm done. We're closing the video with that. Have yeah, a yeah, yeah. happy holidays, everyone. Pie. Merry Christmas. No playoffs? Um. Um. Did we? You want to look at the lineup for playoffs? Ooh. Yeah, I'm looking at the playoffs. Can we look at them anywhere? I'm just going to pull up their roster, right? Wait. Who's roster? Playoff rosters. Oh. I guess, yeah. I guess I can pull up the standings. I can't sign off of the regular season without looking at the playoffs. Yeah, I guess it's week seven. Um, If you pull up the draft, they're fuck the standings. It's, it's accurate, so. Yeah. Yeah, we pretty much have us. So basically, Jossers finished first. Um, They went and they six selected. and one. We went five and two. They chose to play the box traps. So that leaves us against Bread. Guardians didn't make playoffs. And yeah. Come on, man. Sorry, man. That was the cutoff. I had to mention it. The <laughs> bubble team. All right. So the first matchup is Box. Box versus Jostle. Yep. Can, I guess the question is, can Box Traps flip the switch? No. No? I think the Jostlers will win. I mean, it just depends if they have someone to match Box Traps fan. And then I don't know Damn. if they have a bottom of their team. Like, if I you look at all their big weeks, they always have two people at the bottom. I don't think the Jostlers have a person to match Box Traps right. fan. What's a big Box Traps week? What was their biggest week? A 148. Yeah, big ol' bangle. Box okay. Trap fan did a 148. Who's yeah, I'm looking match? at week two, where they yeah. won against the Jostlers. Their bottom of their team was Marco and Harry, so unless they have someone to step up there... I think the Jostlers will go much harder this time. And I guess people Box were, were pretty saying, much at their peak back then. Isn't that what people were saying before? That oh. their biggest weakness was the fact that they're 6th and 7th players? Do you want to hear their top 4 are... players in week 2? What? 137, 122, 120, 116. Pretty crazy. So they pretty much but... did their peak with those 4 players. And then now they have to find someone to fill out the bottom. So I don't know. It'll be tough. Imagine if they had a better sixth and seventh yeah. best player. If they had depth. That'd be crazy. I That's... don't know. Levine can just play himself, but he never does. Hmm. Weird Maybe how Levine box just... traps. 
Don't you think it's Game weird Cover. how Boxtrap's fan and Levine don't play at the same time? Kind of funny. I don't know. Oh, is that like Batman? Yeah, pretty much. Like you, what the fuck does that Bat mean? Never seen... You know, <laughs> you know the saying? you never seen Batman and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never seen Robin Batman and Bruce same. Wayne. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying if they both pop off on the same week, then maybe they'll have a good chance. We'll see. They should do that for playoffs. I don't know why Levine wouldn't play himself in playoffs. Levine is Batman. He's been saving up. Yeah, he's he been He could be storing. conserving energy. Yeah, maybe. I mean, think about how much energy is stored in a biscuit. <sighs> Bruh. Just unleash it. Yeah. So, yeah, who, so you got, who you got winning that week? Pretty much just get a better, get a better sixth than seventh best player. And do you think, oh, no, 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 five and six. Oh, you only start six, yeah. right. So what do you think, yeah. then? Who's taking it? Will they be able to do that or no? Um, Give me your winner. Chicken dinner. They're just gonna get Fortnite. stomped. Yeah, they're just gonna get stomped. Man. I I go Jossers as well. All right, moving like, on. One more matchup: Red Seagulls. You know our whole team's burnt. What do you think is gonna end up happening there? Red Seagull. Oh, that's unlucky for you guys. No, we would have picked them. Really? Yeah. We gotta beat him, man. Eventually, so. Oh, you pick him early. Yeah. I uh, I like the old pick him early While we're strategy. Fresh. Yeah. Then have a vacation against the Josters in finals, Kappa. Well, who's? Let's see who Bread's bottom players are, because we know who their top players are. Um. Well, we have female it's... coming in for. So someone. What Socha? Uh, I don't know. I think Sochal should pop off in playoffs. I think that's part of the plan. He's full neat, right? Is, uh, uh, is Diggler a playoff player? I think he could play playoffs. So he's their sixth best player? Yeah, maybe. I think they have a bunch of non-players, maybe. Unless Honestly, I'm wrong. If, if Diglett is Bread's sixth best player... Let's go to Bread team. Who's your sixth best player? All right, so we got past players, acquisitions. We got Harmony starting. Oh, Thurko could play for them. Thurko. Female. So we definitely have Harmony. We have Thurko, if he decides to play. Genitalia, Descalalt, female. That's a pretty good lineup right there. And then one I more. mean, the funny thing is, you just don't know if people like Thurko will want yeah, to play yeah, or yeah. not. They just, it seems like they just decide when to play. Yeah, they no, definitely do. That's, yeah, that definitely happens. Who's your, who's your bottom two players? Our like, bottom two would be, if we go to Seagulls. Because I know Ooh. your top three is pretty good. So basically we would have, starting would probably be, because I don't have, actually have no idea who's going to start. Bailey. Yeah. Fro or not Frozen. Bailey. Surge. Adam. Uh, yeah, that's good. Pando. Hawkeys. And Vinny. Oh. So Hawkeys and Pando see, would be coming see. in. I, mean, I think that's obvious. Or See, else we the the crazy thing is, like I have I have faith in Pando to do yeah. like a big. Keep in mind, we big... made it to playoffs in second place, and we used both our pickups for players who didn't play in the regular season. Yeah. So yeah, they they're obviously uh... they're going to be coming in in playoffs. That shouldn't be a surprise, or else we wouldn't have picked them. But yeah. So so. So you I'm can choose our bottom. That... I don't know what our bottom two would be there. Well, what I'm getting is that like hotkeys is probably your. You're like least make proven or break player, yeah. Yeah, I think he can do really well, but we'll have to see, right? Because we don't know his weak record's like a hundred. I think it all clings on hotkeys. I think it's easy to it's just easy to say that hotkeys has the lowest record weak. Also, there's the fact that we I think talked can do before well. about whether or not hotkeys can flip the switch and just play. I think so. He's done it in the past. He came back from Japan and pulled the fatty, for the miracles. Yeah. Speaking from personal experience, I don't think I could ever flip the switch and go from being flatlined to playing 100 plus. Yeah, no, no, no. I mean, obviously, we're going to need like 120 from the boy. Hopefully. Well, 100 plus. He, he can always do 100. Yeah, that's going to be super easy. No, no, easy. no. No, when I mean 100 plus, I mean, like, if you, don't, if you don't do 100, you you are exiled. Yeah, and never talking to you again. Like, you will, <laughs> you're a band if you do not do 100 minimum. Yeah. Pretty much. Oh yeah, you can. I guess you can pretty much say Hawkeys and 
Like Panda would be our bottom two, but not really. I think a, Panda's gonna surprise me. Yeah, I mean, no, I don't think he'll surprise. I think everyone's expecting him to go nuclear. I'd be shocked with like less than one twenty five from him. I think the crazy thing, like this matchup, is really close. Yeah, I just don't know. I agree. A lot of people say that because I think I think Surge can match their top player. Yep. Because he already did a one forty, right? They'll just do another one with Kraft. They'll just do another one forty. Easy. So if Surge does another 140, he'll match Bread's top player. And I guess it just goes down the line. Yeah. Are you busy? Yeah. I can't uh, play. Damn. I told all the managers that wanted to pick me that I couldn't play Sammy, so Except for Adam, because he didn't ask me. Are you starting? <laughs> when? The playoffs. Uh, If we get to finals, I might play. We'll see what happens. Okay. Just depends who's busy or not, because I obviously have school, right? So yeah, yeah. gotta get I, my learning. I I just think that box traps are gonna get smashed, but I think bread so versus but bread versus seagulls is just too close to call. I think that'll be the real lay real finals, maybe. Yeah, bread. I mean, if there's the match match of the week, like match of the season. Yeah, bread versus seagulls. Is looking to be our like, honestly our regular season match was very good. Let's see, yeah, detailed. We had if if it's not let's see, six seventy four for the Jossers in week seven. Um, looking to see if I can find someone with a higher score. I don't think so though. Oh, here it is, six eighty for box traps week four, and then week two. I think we had the season high of six. It was a good regular season match, huh? It was a good regular season yeah, match. Yeah, that was the, definitely the best regular season match. Once again, my team against Ook's team was the best regular season match. <laughs> Always happens for some reason. But yeah, so that matchup already was good. They weren't at their full power. We weren't really, I'd argue, I think we were definitely clearly I mean, better than them before hard. the week started. Right? Yeah. And this time it's more like, I think we're pretty even. If not, honestly, you could just say that they're better, a little bit better. But personally, I would consider us pretty yeah. even. It's just a, I don't know. Who's Aaron fan account? Um. Oh, that's Mez. All right. Oh yeah. Mez isn't starting. He's um, not. That's that. I mean, it's looking to be, like, definitely the matchup of the whole season, because yeah. I don't see a, f I don't see the finals being as interesting, mm -hmm. and it I'd just agree. seems, and from what everything is gearing up towards and looking at. The matchups, I think yeah. that Bread versus Seagulls will be really interesting. It's just... I think the the Jossers could definitely surprise, but I, the, the issue is just that in the regular season, like against the Box Traps that one week when they lost, they, like, I don't know, they just, they couldn't really play that much, so it's tough to say how much they can play. The Box Traps are too top-heavy, and it yeah. looks like they... Like, they lost like they to a team fix. that started Harry, but on, like, a 70. Yeah. So they I don't know want, about the Jossers. I think I they're mean, de they can definitely win, though. It's possible for sure. The week... I wouldn't underestimate them. The week where the box traps beat the Guardians when um, box trap fan did like a 147 or something, if I'm not mistaken. He did the fire-making week record. Yeah. Um, they Their bottom two players just didn't play that much in week four. Yeah. Because... If I look at the breakdown, their top four is good, but their bottom two is just not good. Mm -hmm. And it's like... For sure, I definitely agree. And we don't know... Apparently, he's, oh yeah, Zoom's not playing playoffs. Then... Remember? I, well, then they're just done. Yeah, I, I'd say so. I'm glad we're not because playing them, because I can just rip into them completely. I don't I don't think we're going to get smashed, personally, man. By the Jossers. I mean... There's no Zulu. If, no way, man. If their bottom player is Harry, I think Harry's too busy. Marco yeah, way is too busy to play. Marco's inconsistent. Does Marco even play anymore? No, he's flatlined. What is he like doing? For... <laughs> Marco's on like a. Oh, yeah, he's on a zero. Oh. Good lord. All right. Um. Let's get anything else. Last thing. This video is getting super long, so. Mm, yeah. Bottom line is box traps will probably get smashed and. BBG Seagulls is the f really, really good matchup. Can I get um, a winner for the whole season in under three seconds? 
Um. Uh, Go now. Red. 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 All right. All right. I, I, so unless unless you guys pull the upset. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I respect that. I think red is probably the favorite to win. So uh, thanks everyone for tuning in. Thanks Sean for joining me on this review. Sorry for the late review. We were lazy and having Christmas and stuff. Thanks yeah. for having me. Happy holidays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a gummy. Merry Christmas. Shut up. Nick's, Nick's off a gummy. Check